Hi, in this video, I'm going to offer you some practical advice on how to replace your vehicle's coolant. Coolant components differ between vehicle manufacturers, but the principles that remain the same. If you're unsure, you should consult your owner's manual or seek the opinion of an expert. You will need a coolant drainer, a funnel, disposable gloves, replacement antifreeze, rag, screwdrivers and hose clip pliers, axle stands and a trolley jack. Before you start the task, make sure the engine is cold. Do not attempt to complete this task when the engine has been in operation. The cooling system is pressurised and gets very hot. Never remove the radiator cap on a pressurised system until it has cooled down. Locate the coolant reservoir and remove the radiator cap. Raise the vehicle and support it using axle stands. Remember, never get underneath a vehicle that is not supported. Some vehicles are fitted with a drain plug on the radiator. If this applies to your vehicle, place a suitable container under the drain plug and undo the plug. If your vehicle does not have a drain plug, you should undo the bottom radiator hose. If the hose is stuck, do not pull it or use a screwdriver. Twist the hose to break the seal. Make sure you have a container to catch the coolant. The coolant should disappear from the expansion tank. If there's still coolant in the expansion tank, you may need to remove other coolant hoses. Refit any removed hoses or refit the radiator drain plug. Take the correct mixture of antifreeze and pour it into the expansion tank until the max level mark. Don't be surprised if not all of the antifreeze is required at this point. Check for any leaks. Start the engine and move the heater control to the hot setting. Some vehicles cooling systems are fitted with bleed screws. These are located on the heater hoses. Their job is to remove air locks from the cooling system. If your vehicle is fitted with these, they should be undone until coolant escapes and then re-secured. Place the radiator cap and leave the engine running. Turn the heater blower inside the vehicle on. There should be warm air. This is an indication that there is no air in the cooling system. The vehicle needs to remain running until the thermostat opens and if the vehicle has an electric cooling fan, it has to cut in and out. This ensures the cooling system has no air locks. If your vehicle is not fitted with an electric fan, Consult your owner's manual to determine how long a cooling cycle should take. When the cooling cycle has completed, let the vehicle cool down fully and recheck the coolant level. Top up if required. You should dispose of the old antifreeze at your local recycling centre. Never pour antifreeze down a drain. So there you have it. That's how you replace your vehicle's coolant. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Please check out our other videos.